Swift. Yo, yo, what's good? It's Swift D. I'm just sitting in the studio. Asking where's my heart? It was all friendly on my end. Even though I look forward to seeing you again. I straight spit like I got no tongue. Tell me where was y'all back on the come up way before the bus? And today, I'm going to make a beat out of whatever's waiting for me in this crate. So let me just say a prayer real quick. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, uh, okay, a lint roller. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but let's just see. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, now this should be fun. A little baby cup right here. And it has a little sound already waiting for me. This thing's popping with that. It's already intense. Okay. Okay, desktop tennis. Hmm. Maybe if I open it up, slap them together, may make a little sound out of it, but I don't know. That's three for three. Things that I have no idea what I'm gonna do, and I'm sure it's gonna come to fruition a little bit. This is cool. It's a little ruler, some pencils and or color pencils in there. There's a sound right there. I already got something going. Alright, here's the last one. Let's see what we got. Measuring tape. Let's see. This is gonna be an interesting beat right here. I'm actually excited. I've never done anything like this. So yeah, I'm ready to get to it. So welcome to my home studio. This is where I've been working lately. So since, you know, hard is first, let's start with the lint roller. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna, nothing there. Maybe that. <laughs> this sounds so funny. Like I already got a vibe already. Uh, let me do this. See. Oh, this is about to be crazy. I just got inspired already. It's like every one I pick up, it's like a new beat that goes through my head. Dang, that's a that's a dope little sound. Pitch that down. I'm feeling that. No, that is not gonna work at all. Perfect already. Oh, that too. All right, I know that's gonna be good. Okay. It's probably the easiest one to start with, so. I'll start with the pencils. I just need to find one though. Love FL. It's because it's so easy. Oh, uh, let's do something different to this. The first initial thought that I had was I was going to do a beat that was just faster. But I think like as soon as I got here and this thing right here, I was like, no, I got to I got to slow this beat down and like bring some, you know, something that bangs to it. What's this right here? I remember that. I love that sound. Obviously, you know, with me doing like a certain rhythm when I sample things, it's never quantized. So like getting that rhythm sometimes is always the most difficult part. Actually, I want it to be a little faster. So that's way too fast. But as soon as you get that down, you know, it's easy. Funny how I got the tape measure to fit in there. There we go. I'm getting some of this. That's already on pocket. I ain't even gotta do nothing to it. It's perfect. Now I heard something in the paddle that like sounded like a clap. Oh yeah. The cup. I love that cup. I wanna own one of those one day. Alright, combining all these together. Tape measures. I want that like dirty, distorted. I need to do something different with it. Damn. If it don't clash for nothing else, that's good to go. Let's get a melody real quick. Do I want to go back in? I just need one sound.
No. Let's see what we got. Nexus. Nexus is usually that one VST plugin that has everything from strings to brass, even the thinnest airy sound. You find something, it's usually already like ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, that's hard. That's a bribe. Distort the 808 real quick, just a little bit. I did the trick, I ain't even really gotta go back in on it. Now it's just really uh, just incorporating the cup. Maybe we'll just leave a cup for the intro. That's way better. Oh, I did. Let's throw some Effectrix on this real quick, just to make the drop better. Effectrix, it's like the easiest way of doing so many different effects in one plugin. The way that I like to do it is uh, routing it through my MIDI keyboard as a note. So like one note, I may have like a vinyl stop. And then the next note, I may have it to where it loops, you know, to where it, it like stutters. It just adds more like dynamics. All right, so I can do that with the cup or I can... Let it sound better, like a phaser or some sort. Way better. Kick start on it. Side chain it. Now it sounds like it belongs in the beat. This right <laughs> it almost sounds like some some vinyl. Got the room, the room sound, sound in there, in there too. too. That's actually really dope. Add some saturation. Let's see how I fit with the rest of the beat. Hey, <laughs> this is hard. This is ready to go. All right, so, so what I did was I used every sound that I could in here. Couldn't really find, you know, like too much of a tone, you know what I'm saying, like a, a pitch. But um, man, I found some like great sounds in here. This is actually like some of the most fun I've ever had, like making a beat. I usually would sample like one random sound, but like I would never think to sample like the things that I was asked to sample today. So actually brought, you know, like a little bit of that beast out of me. So I just didn't want to like do anything that was like so simple, you know what I'm saying? Like with the sounds, cause it's still, you know, like would have sounded cool, but like, I mean, shoot, if you're going to go all the way and sample some sounds, you know, like you got to get creative with them as well. Cause you never know if you're going to actually use them again. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is the beat that I would actually shop. And these sounds are actually sounds that I would actually use again in my, my future beats. So yeah, it, it definitely turned out dope. Really dope. Now all the stuff to do it is just hear it all out. Mm. actually turned out really good. Yeah, 
That's hard. That's hard. That's really good. Birdman hands, Birdman hand rubs all through this week. It was really fun. It like makes me want to actually do this again on my own time, you know what I'm saying? Cause when you're like working and working, working, like you don't really get an opportunity to like, just be as like creative as you want to sometimes, you know? So it like made me feel like I was like 23 all over again, you know, like first uh, coming to LA, you know, and just trying to just show people that I was like good at something, you know? It was like a dope vibe for sure. Thank you.